Alright, so I know this is going to be very upsetting for a lot of you guys to hear, but this will be our final balls video on the channel for quite some time. In fact, I don't think we're going to be getting another Harunga campaign until at least New Year's or maybe later. Honestly, I can't remember the other times we get these campaigns outside of the thank you celebration. The point is, there's one more set for the thank you celebration. Set 3 is officially here. In fact, we already have access to the first two balls, but the next five balls at the time of filming haven't been released. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it, starting with set 3, Dragon Ball number 1, or the 1 star ball, which was available on November 18th. You have to collect one incredible gem to get the one star ball. So basically just go into, uh, you know, any of the story or quest mode stages that give incredible gems. Run it once, get your gem, and get your one star Dragon Ball. From there we have the two star ball, which will be acquired or which was released on November 19th. And you have to tap the scouter on the top right of the summon screen. So go over to the summon screen, go to any banner, click the scouter, and then you'll get your two star ball. For the three star ball, which is available on November 20th, you have to collect at least seven int key spheres and clear the stage. So to maybe increase your chances, go into a Dokkan event, bring an int type orb changing unit or orb changing item. And then if you get seven or more int key spheres and clear the stage, you'll get the three star ball. For the four star Dragon Ball on uh, available on November 21st, you have to use a team of all the same type. So a mono team like all int, all SDR, all fizz, all AGL, all tech. Um, one of those will work. So you do that, clear a stage, and you'll get your four star ball. And for the five star Dragon Ball, which is available on November 22nd, you have to use any of the support memories once. I don't think it really matters which one, just choose your favorite or, you know, just a random one. And uh, once it activates, you clear the stage, you'll get the five star ball. For the six star Dragon Ball, available on November 23rd, clear any stage without taking any damage. So you can't take any hits. Um, if you dodge, that's fine too, just no damage taken for the entire event. A good uh, stage that guarantees that would be something like the B-Pan event, right? Or uh, something really easy where you can one-shot the enemy. So do one of those, clear the stage, take no damage, get your 6-star Dragon Ball. And finally, for the 7-star seven, uh, seven ball, the last ball of this Peruga campaign, uh, available on November 24th. Clear any stage once with at least one Time Traveler's category character on your team. So that's it. Just bring a Time Traveler's unit and uh, clear a stage. You'll get that 7-star Dragon Ball. And then you'll be able to uh, summon Purunga for the third and final time. Make your wishes. And uh, that's going to do it, guys. So there you go. The final balls update um, of the Thank You Celebration. It feels like the end of an era. It's kind of sad, but uh, all great things have to eventually come to an end. So that's it, guys. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you a little bit. If you uh, missed any Dragon Balls from set 2 or set 1, uh, the videos are on the channel as well. So feel free to go check those out. Otherwise, um, that's it. That's all I got to say. Good luck. On collecting your balls good luck on making your wishes let me know in the comments what your final wishes for this third set will be and uh yeah as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media Signing out.